Hello survivors! Welcome back to another video. How are you today guys? Let me know in the comments. Today we are gonna end up this monkey BS. This is the monkey! Send the monkey! The monkey Mike, you are wrong because the monkey is everything that we wish for. And when you put it in the rally, in the joiners, they join the rally. I recollected uh, just a couple of reports here that I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. I never said that the monkey didn't make a big difference with the joiners. It does make a difference, but it has to be such a close fight to actually make a difference. Otherwise, it doesn't matter how many joiners join with monkeys. It doesn't matter anything else. The rally leader with the strongest monkey is gonna win. It has to be super close. Unfortunately, stats are not that close anymore. And these are some reports that perfectly show the example that I'm trying to tell you. I'm no biased with this because I can go, for example, with these crazy reports here, you know? That's, that's the other thing. Like, for example, people said here, we felt this one. No, but you know, we put all the monkeys and they are stressing people out to put all the monkeys and rallies are not getting filled and they are not timing the rallies well. But when you come here, you see the stats. The stats are not even close. So why are you bothering people making monkeys, monkeys, monkeys? That effort is very used. Just timing the rallies perfectly, attacking the player perfectly so that they don't reinforce on time, kick them out of the building, and then you reorganize and you can ask people to send monkeys, which is what this alliance did. For example, this alliance, okay, if you go here to the monkeys, what they did, they probably just like, of course, they were stronger than us. But you see, they put 85 monkey, 86, 77, 70, you know, some like super nice monkeys there. And I think all this was once they realized that they took the building, you know, they were just sending people out, kicking people out. That's what you're going to do when you take the building. But before taking the building, you don't want to be stressing people out with the monkeys because of because what? What you're going to end up is just having rallies not filled, players just don't want to play, and that's it. So how does that monkey make a big difference? Well, we're going to see these reports here. You see this report? Defense victory. So this player was stacking this player. If you come here to the stats, let's say stat first they are winning in a stat but it's not a crazy difference it's just a few green arrows above you know for maybe in troop attack and stuff a little bit higher so in a stats this player is beating this player so 110 monkey 100 monkey so as you can see here they rallied for the first time if you go here to the monkey behemoth kills so we put all monkeys, all monkeys, all monkeys, all monkeys, all monkeys. They don't put any, they didn't put any monkey. So see, it's just, as you come here to see, let's put it again. If they are inactive, okay? So just two monkeys they sent. This one killed 2,000, this one 1,000, this one 5,000, but they were playing against no monkey. So maybe they realized that and they said, shoot, we lost the rally. So we wounded one more time, 145,000, and here survived 90, 900,000, okay? So they rally again, and this is one more time, same troops, same rallies, same players. This is a perfect example. Now, look at this. They made adjustments. Now they send all monkey. Look at this. It's just monkey, 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 except one monkey. But they sent more monkey than the last time. Now, you will see here. Now they wounded 793. You might think, oh, Mike, what do you see? No, here, I, I hear even this. So. 145,000, 177,000. So it is like, I don't know, 35,000 more. So this is what they wounded, okay? Now you might say, wow, well, I was due to the monkey, due to the monkey. But you can see the difference here. So here is 46% BMO, okay? 46, we have an advantage of 46%. If it was exponentially increasing, you come here and it's 15%. So it should be a higher percent of wounded troops. It didn't happen. And you might think, no, but you know, now they send the monkey, that's when they wounded more. No, they made adjustment with their troops. As you can see here, they put more T12 in this rally. One, two, three, four, five, five players with T12. And if you come here, they put in the first one, one, two, three, four, four players with T12. So for the next one, they say, oh, we have to make more T12 in the rally. So they put one extra play with T12. They put more monkeys 
and they still couldn't kick those out. Why? Because this player has better stats and have better monkeys. Does it have anything to do with like we have more monkeys in the rally? No. One more time, the difference is the same monkeys and the difference in, in, in wounded troops is not that big. After they make it the adjustments, the adjustments of monkeys and putting more T12. And I think the biggest advantage here was putting more T12, not putting more monkeys. So as you can see here, this is a more. This is in battle. This is not me attacking a, a farm account. Um, just like a, a sack a troop like this reports crazy report and their buys and try to just push one new thing for state of survival. No, this is real fight. We fighting for the capital. One player, same troops, same same amount of troops, like, uh, almost the same amount of uh, like um, composition of troops. As you can see here, 25, 17, 26. And then they made the adjustment here, 28, 16, 25. So it's almost the same. They just put like T12, they put more monkeys. They still couldn't do anything. It was just like 34, 30,000 more wounded troops. Now, one more time, if you have even stats, if you have even monkeys in the rally leader and you have even skills, for example, you come here to uh, to research, let's see, to the battle details here. Now, the battle analysis. And you see here, research 50, other 50. You said troop 50 and 50, heroes 50 and 50, chief 50 and 50. And the only making a difference is the BMO? Yeah, go for it. You might well just send all the strongest rally in the rear, all the, the, the strongest monkeys in the rally, and that will make a difference. But we are not at this point in state of survival. Most of the rallies there are failings because of the lack of stats. Now, another report, you might think, no, that's just one report here. We defend fell this attack. Look at this. This was a defend fell. So you come here to the, the, the monkey. Let's say the monkey first. We have a 8% in, in monkey in monkey increase okay because why so if you come here to the monkeys they forgot to put three monkeys you know ah, they just join people they didn't keep people out oh we have to keep them out no no it's a golden monkey against a purple monkey one two three monkeys and the levels of this monkey are similar we are even beating them in this one one more time we have eight percent different monkey no monkey no i don't care about monkey three monkeys just missing we come here to the stats they are almost even. Look at this, just a few more like red um, arrows down. Just a few. This is a clear example. Almost even. Almost even. You see? Almost even in, sta in stats. Now, we have an advantage in monkeys. What happened? What didn't make a difference? Because this player have a crazy monkey, 147, 110. So the joiners are never going to overpower what you, you have as a rally leader. So if this rally leader have a 135, 130 level monkey, maybe that these three monkeys will make a difference. But at this point, if you are annoying all these people, send the monkey, send the monkey, send the monkey, and then the other rally is not getting full. The one who is supposed to hit after this one because everybody just can't join one rally and you are kicking people out, and then they have to speed up because you kick them out, and then it's just annoying. Of course, you are gonna fail. You go to the battles analysis, you have T12, one player, two players with T12, and then you have one player, two players with T12. So it's almost even in March in terms of T12, T11s. Yeah, they might have an advantage here in infantry, in riders and hunters, but we have an advantage in the monkey. Why didn't we defend the rally, even if they have less troops? Because the rally, the, the monkey is what matter. So it doesn't matter one more time. You are here sending three less monkeys, it still keep our ass. Why? Because has a stronger monkey. The rally leader is always what's gonna matter the most. You are thinking that these battles are super close nowadays that you have to be like, oh, you see, you didn't send the monkey, that's what we lost, no. Now, how can you use this monkey to your advantage? What I recommend you to do is instead of just being like a crazy, ah, oh, the monkey, the monkey, the monkey, it being just there like annoying people, what you're gonna do is just make people join a bunch of rallies that you were doing before. Make sure that you time those rallies well, because that's the other thing, because you are putting pressure on the time, the times are not, the rallies are not being timed well um, and stuff. Then when you kick them out because you threw a three, four very, very good time rallies, then you readjust your troops and your monkeys. You, of course, call your ghosts and stuff, but most of the people with the strongest monkeys in Alliance wants to send the monkey to the Alliance, to the, to the garrison, so that you have the higher amount of monkeys there 
and then that's gonna help you to hold maybe more attacks or maybe just save 50,000 troops, 100,000 troops that you can maybe just uh, hit uh, the second rally can hit and you can still have troops there and reinforces arrive on time, then you can still keep the building. But that's what you have to do. The first, the thing is not putting, it's stressing out about the monkeys, it's just to have a strong rally leader with a strong monkey. And once you have strong lily, a strong rally leader with a strong monkey, then you take the, 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 the building and then you readjust T12 and stuff. So that's what you have to do. Yeah, talking about T12 and stuff, I got my ass beat, guys. Crazy, look at this. And this is not, uh, where, where is that? I don't know what this is not showing me the reports. But this player, shout out to him in the in the in the ascertain his this one Dubai Dubaiya he killed he just with one solo attack smoked me with 1.6 million troops crazy guys one attack one I'm not even that strong anymore my main march was like was like a home course but it's just crazy. So it is clear with the monkey now the comments that I see is no it is true because um we, our rally leader lost uh, an attack yeah you, just an attack you have to analyze that attack well one more time because most of you you don't analyze the attacks and you just see this for example oh we are losing we are losing yeah 185 monkey and only one not only that if you come here they did exactly what i did they put most of strongest monkeys here because they readjust but yeah it doesn't matter because in infantry it's 47 percent in stats, we are down a lot. So are you worrying about putting a lot of monkeys here? Are you worrying about timing rallies well that you can kick them out? That's what you should be worrying about. It's the same here. So here, 185, 102. Do you think I'm putting more monkeys here? It's gonna make a big difference? No, this is good. Just throw it, that's all. Wound these troops, this rally hit after and you take the building. But because these rallies didn't hit at the same time, or maybe, I don't know if it was a, a double rally, I see. This one was uh, 1949-51 and this one was 1949-49. That's a, that was a well, a well timed rally. But this one, one more time, you have to be three rallies maybe at least to just try to kick this player out. And when you time three rallies well without worrying about putting monkeys on that, that I guess you didn't call a third rally because people were stressing about the monkeys. So if you hit with three rallies, then you can readjust. Then these players can say they're strong as monkey and maybe you can hold more attacks and defend the building. But that's what I what, what you have to do. At this point, you're stressing out and stuff when the, the difference is not that, that, that much, then it doesn't make any sense. And one more time, it is proof here. It is proof here, guys. This is just a clear proof. And I have more attacks that I wanted to show you, but I don't know why it is showing me just the, the favorite attacks. It's just stupid because uh, that's happening all the time. So yeah, I think that I have to leave the game and come back, but I'm not going to do it. But here, these three attacks and the other ones I going to show you just show perfectly. It's not a big difference unless stats are very, very similar. And here is just these two are, are a clear example because everything else remains equal. So after adjusting for the monkeys, it's just like 30 more thousand troops. It, and this is not counting when they did that put more T12 in this rally. So it, let's say that it's just 10% left. It's just 30, 30K more, 50K. One more time. You have to be very close in a stat for that tomorrow, okay? So stressing out about the monkey, I don't know where you are getting that from. The problem with the spender is that they don't know. I'm not trying to pretend that I know all about the game. I always tell you there are people who knows more about me than the game and they are nerdy, nerdy, nerdy with the game. But most spenders, what they see is like this. Oh no, yeah. Ah oh, no, I lost. He has a 40, 147 monkey. Oh, I have 110. Oh, more monkeys, more monkeys, more, more, more. Because monkeys are new things. Then if they release a tiger, you are gonna see. No, it's a tiger. They have a stronger tiger in the rally. You have to all put tiger. Because they don't know, they don't know better. They, they just go for one. Okay, it's a new thing. I haven't spent enough money. The other people, yeah, they, they did spend them. Yeah, they have to be the monkey. Have oh, one more time. You have to be first of all with strong rally leader. Even in stats, for that to matter a lot. What you have to focus is just calling a well timed rallies, kick them out, and then you readjust your troops. And that's the end of the story. I don't want to see more argument. If you're gonna come at me like it makes a difference, you better show me some good ass reports. If you show me reports when it says that people join, for example. 
if I go here to this kind of reports, I come here and I see, wow, uh, 902, let's say, survived, 145 wounded. I come here and I see them putting monkeys in the rally like they did, like this, one more time, they put, except one, in the other one there was no monkey. And I see here like 400,000, 300,000, oh, they won the rally? Uh, the first thing that I'm going to say, everybody, I, if you don't put a monkey, I kick you out of the alliance and I burn you. And that's what I said. But when you see this such a small, small difference, and especially it make it, it's not even perfect because they make other adjustments. So you have to take into account that it doesn't matter. It doesn't really matter. You have to have a strong and monkeys as a rally leader to win. This person won because had better stats and has better monkey. That's the only reason. And these players could have never um, kicked this player out even if they put 20 monkeys here in the rally, even if it was allowed, it wouldn't happen. So yeah, that's the, the verdict for that. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoy. See you next time.